That would be terrifying. Picture being frozen and just falling to your death. Oh, oh that almost happened again. Stop, fucking weird looking penguin ass motherfucker. I don't even know what he is. What even are you? An idiot sandwich. Deformed fucker. I gotta say, actually, this game has been running pretty fucking good so far. Oh god, what the fuck? Oh, there's like an invisible wall? You're not gonna get the one up? I'm trying, but I don't know. There we go. Oh, oh, okay, wait, I can see the platform things now. Look, see how they're like dark in the background? That's crazy. Oh, I get the trick because on the GBA, the yeah, I get it. The game, the original Game Boy Advance had like no backlight. I don't backlight. know what you're talking about. Okay. Well, you know what? Fuck you too, I, I mean, guess. you can keep talking about it because I'm sure they know, but I have no clue what you're talking about. I know, it's because you're uneducated. And un, um, underdeveloped. Um. Your brain. Underdeveloped. You totally don't have like three college degrees. More than me. Because I have zero. <laughs> oh, yeah. D &D. No. I am a high school drop. Dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a... How many levels are there? Um, I think there's like two, two more like worlds, basically. It's a short game. These Game Boy Advance games are really short, but they get really hard at the end because you're dying. The whole no, I killed him. I killed the moon and the sun. You're dying. Look, I got seven lives. I'm doing better than I no, did before. You're dying. And they're doing a little dance. Look at them. Come on, a little dance, a dance. A little dance. They make, they make, they're dancing. Grape Gordon? Garoppe. I, I, I made a bad joke the other day about it. I already know what you're doing. Yeah. About. Yeah, I love that you know me so well. And that I didn't even have to say it. <laughs> so you didn't know it. Oh my god, it's so crazy. Ooh, okay, uh, hypothetical. Um, say, uh, your mom came home with. Uh, a cat, a dog, and um, and a turtle, and said, "You have to make two of these mate. Which one would you do? What? Which two would you put together to mate?" I don't. Why would you? No. Yeah. None of them. Why? Because <gasps> I don't want any more animals. Oh, this is so cool. No, you do you not understand the hypothetical. But I'm okay. I hypothetically don't want any more animals. No, I know you don't want any more. Okay, say you don't have any cats at all. No more cats, no nothing, no well, animals. Well, I'm okay with just one cat, one dog, and a turtle. No, but you have to make them mate. But I don't, I don't want to. You have to, though. It's but for why science. why do I have to? It's for science. It's a hypothetical. No. It's, which one would you make mate? I guess the cat and the dog. <laughs> so you do... I, I would honestly do the turtle and the cat. Because then you have a turd cat. You say a turd cat? <laughs> yeah. No. Why are they blue? They were yellow before, now they're blue. Okay, another hypothetical. Say you have... Say you have two cars, right? Vroom, vroom. You have You have the car you have now. Mm -hmm. And then you have a, a Maserati. Mozzarella. Uh, and, and you have the choice of giving one to charity. And keeping the other one. No, wait, I take that back. You have you have the choice of giving one to a homeless person, one to your mom. Who are you choosing? One to a homeless person and one to my mom? Yeah. My mom's getting like what like I give out both my cars? Yeah. My mom's getting the Maserati. The other it, one can get the other. Car. Yeah. They didn't give me like everything for my life. Okay, well, okay, say this homeless person is your dad. <laughs> they what you can't switch <laughs> no! <laughs> He said, oh, yeah, she's right. That's kind of easy. Let me, yeah. <laughs> let me switch this up. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, this is one. This is one that's already been. Hypothetically. Uh, if you had a tiny Hitler that fit in your pocket, would you, would you torture him? Yes or no? No. Why? Because I don't like torturing things. But he's Hitler. I know he's Hitler, but I don't as a, my morality i cannot but torture anything but his morality was i'm gonna kill i all can go the give Jews. him someone else to torture but i won't okay yeah, that makes sense i mean you, you just be known as the girl who endorsed hitler's i didn't endorse anything i just <laughs> killed him i love hypotheticals they're fun what the fuck? where's the door right there 
Well, yeah, no, I know that. <laughs> I mean the other door, the new, the new door, the door where the that one. Yeah, that's hey, what I needed. The door's right there. No, really? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate it so much. My tears are falling down my face with like very. I think it's because I'm wearing the glasses. Wimp. You just call me a wimp. I didn't say anything. I heard you say something. What are you gonna lie now? Why you do liar. Why do feet look like cashews? They do look like cashews, actually. Throw bombs. Throw bombs. Bananas. They remind me of. Mm. Back in my day. Back in my day, people with bombs weren't allowed on planes. Cause then 9/11 happened. That's crazy. Straight nine nine. If you were if you were alive during 9/11, um, would you have uh, would you have helped the terrorists no. or? Okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what way you're going with that. That'd make it any way of being okay. Uh, would you help it didn't. the terrorists? It, it, there or? was no way of that being okay after I said 9/11. <laughs> You're dumb. Fucking hypotheticals are funny. Okay, okay. One more. One last hypothetical for you, alright? You're working at Target. You're working at Target, right? Hi, welcome to Target. And you're- Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That's fine. I guess I just killed everything on stage, pretty much. Um, say you're working at Target, right? An old lady comes up. And there was- There's also, uh, a child that comes up. And the lady takes a child, and- just one of his eyeballs out of his head and that? eats it. <laughs> what did you do? Leave? Cause what if I'm next? <laughs> Screw them kids! <laughs> Every man for themselves, that kid should have ran to begin with, it's fast. <laughs> you wouldn't help the child with the no! one- No! <laughs> it's got one eye, it's already down. <laughs> Can help itself. <laughs> Got itself in that position and get itself out. Okay. It's made its bed now lay in it. Now say, now say this this lady that just gouges this child's eyeball out. You said you said you'd walk away, right? Yeah. Say she's following you now. She's right behind you, but she's I not. Have my taser. She, no, she's not attacking you though. So there's no need to use the taser. But every time you pass by someone, she hold on. She, <laughs> there's no need to use the taser as if she didn't just gouge someone's <laughs> eyes out. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> every person she walks by, she gouges their eyes. Is that what you're about to say? Okay, say, say. She's not attacking you, right? She's just following you. She's just attacking but she's not like you. next to you. She's not close enough for you to be able to use the taser and have any effect whatsoever. So, so every like you guys are just passing by people. Every time you guys pass by someone, she she either rips a limb off or or gouges an eye or like rips someone's tongue out every time, and she just like eats it. Well, why wouldn't well, I just stop well, and tase her? Because because it would be assault on your part. Oh, on my part, but not self defense from the fact that she's gouging. But she's not. But she's not hurting you though. She's hurting she's everyone hurting around everyone you. Else. Yeah, I know. Self defense for everyone else. But but then if you were Your to hurt her, off. if you <laughs> if you were to hurt her, then the police would be like, "Hey, you assaulted this lady," <laughs> and no. all charges against her are dropped. The real just went off. I did it. Oh uh, wait, I want to. I want to. I want to do one too. Okay, now we're starting this, Mr. Krabs. Mr. Crab. Oh, ew, ew! Get away! Get away! You're the one who invited me over here. Not you. <laughs> oh, jeez. Not an asshole. Yeah, cheese. Cheese. Okay. Those birds look like goldfish. Um, what if every every part of you was replaced with cheese? Would you eat yourself? No. No? I don't even think I can move because it's cheese. What, what if it gets hot outside and I melt? <laughs> <laughs> There's no getting sunburned. It's I'm just melting. <laughs> I am now nacho cheese. <laughs> nacho libre? Nacho libre cheese. Is it gonna start me from the beginning? Nope, it didn't. Uh, uh, wait, wait, no. Uh. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's so cute. Fuck you, big pig motherfucker. Elephant with no fucking arms, just legs. Weird looking motherfucker. He <laughs> looks so weird. He doesn't have any like he doesn't have any like hands. Oh, he just jumped hell high. He's a check on my high jump. Any rolls? He's cool. I want him as a pet. Fuck you. I think you're gonna die. I'm not gonna. Oh my god, I have one life left. 
Hey, you're sucking what now? Hey, yo. Hey, yo. hey, that's guy, bro. That's guy. You're guy. Fuck you. Oh, what? Did he get health back? I thought he was on his last life already. No, he wasn't. Oh, shit. Fuck. Fuck you. Yeah, die. And I'm gonna get fucking throw Kirby. I'm gonna throw shit at people. Say someone was on the street actually throwing shit at people, what would you do? Walk the opposite way. <laughs> it's not my problem. I don't get into people's business. Okay, okay, say this guy's throwing shit at people and one of those people was your mom. What would you do? <laughs> she better move, dude. Why is she standing there like an idiot? <laughs> because she's in shock that someone's throwing their feces at people. <laughs> She's, she works with daycare kids. She knows what poop is. She can deal with it. But she's in shock that someone's actually throwing real feces at- No! Damn it. <laughs> Stop as we talk about feces.